Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Factorio. Today, it's just me. Uh, Electro, I think, is actually on, but uh, he's doing his own thing over here somewhere. Oh, there's his little dot. So yeah, look at how big... <laughs> Look how big they are. Uh, my radar has gotten really big over time, as you can tell. Uh, I've been researching, and I really need to get rid of all the other radars because it's a little taxing and expensive as hell. Oh, you see greens there. We'll get to that. So last time we were working on, of course, uh, the wonderful uh, magic of uh, greenhouses, and we were derping up quite a bit, and that's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to derp up a lot, um, especially with a new mod uh, pack, and um, it's going to be painful. It's going to be a bit painful for you guys, but uh, that's going to happen. Oh, before we go, um, I've been... Oh, I got conveyor belts there, and I got uh, bullets here. So let's get some bullets down here. Uh, the reason I got those going is because uh, I noticed spiders are getting close, pollution's getting close, yada yada. I keep hitting N instead of M. Uh, anyways, oh, that's already done, so next. <laughs> oh yes, we can get another belt going. Okay, uh, so anyways, um, we had power outages uh, because the radars are using a ridiculous amount of power now. Uh, it's because over time, uh, when you research them, uh, when I got them upgraded, they went from 300 kilowatts up to 1.5 now. They weren't 1.5 originally, but they keep going up because I keep, uh, I keep researching the, oh yeah, that's the one I replaced, researching the, the latest ones. Um, so we have one more and I just got to find that one. Uh, that one's Electro's, like I said. I'm going to put ours down here, I think. Um, that way it's like right at the corner, but there should be one right around here too. Oh, there it is. There we go. And there we go. Gives us a bit of a better corner advantage anyways. Uh, and then uh, there's one more I need to find. Uh, so uh, last time we were working on the greenhouse and like I said, things happen. I get derpy, I get confused and that, that happens and you got to play around. Factorial is one of those games, especially like me, I don't really look up guides really often. So when you're learning something, you kind of have to mess around with it, or at least I personally have to mess with it quite a bit uh, to try to understand it and to get it going. But I finally did it. I finally have a decent, or I think is a decent uh, setup. You know, it's not the world's best setup. Oh, God, lights are expensive. They use those other ones. Oh, no, I shouldn't have too late how many lights did i make did i make any maybe i didn't man they use the circuit boards anyways here's the greenhouses and uh unfortunately it's nighttime so that doesn't help much um here is the uh seedlings so i'll explain this a little bit better hopefully for you guys uh the idea is uh that you can just look at the actual uh greenhouses themselves so they're lined up and i have filter inserters uh, the idea here is the seedlings get put on this belt over here, the wood gets put on this, and this is just an incoming belt and then whatever over there. So I put the seedlings on this belt. Now, this is the problem. They produce seedlings as well as you, they don't produce enough and your assembling machine will produce seedlings here. But then what happens if th this gets full and etc, etc? So how do you prevent from backing up? Well, the seedlings go up here and they go on this side of the conveyor. The way uh, the inserters work in this game is they grab to the closest uh, on the belt when they're grabbing it. So they grab on this side of it. So you can see there's only two of them sitting there rather than, you know, all the way backed up. And then they'll grab from the uh, excess amount at the back that has been produced over there when they need it. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. It's backed up. Um, I do have a chest here. It's not like I need one there, but I put it there. Then I have uh, the wood here. So wood wood goes into uh, whatever you want to call these. Wood to wood. Um, and then you got uh, the wooden boards created uh, here. And these are where you basically p put the circuits on. And then they go all the way up here. And then this is from excess amounts from before. I got to automate all that in the future. And then we got the resin, which we don't need anymore. So we got the wire factory here, and then the boards itself. 
that imprinted on the wooden boards. And so there's the, the wooden boards there. And these are the basically the chips or whatever, which are called basic circuit boards. And those are sort of like your green circuit boards from before, except they're now wooden looking ones and a little, le little more low tech looking, but kind of more complex because of all that wood we had to get originally to get it going. And then, uh, of course, then we create uh, the in assembly ones here. Now, you only needed one. I know you only need one of these. I, I built one for each. It doesn't matter. But uh, you got your boards going in there because they needed it. I have a blue assembly machine, which basically is a little more expensive than normal because it requires um, the, uh, the, the basic electronic boards as well, three of them. So same thing as like our fast inserters or the um, smart inserters had to do that. Uh, sniper turret. Oh, that's kind of cool. What about turret damage and all that? Gun turret damage. There you go. Oh, it increases all the different ones. Like, why has it got so many? There you go. And, uh, yeah, so long story short, woo, a little exhausted. We got it up and running. Everything is going good, and we can research reds and greens plentiful and without too much of an issue now, so I'm happy about that. And then I decided to make uh, this before. This was before I made one. Uh, this way I can get, you know, conveyor belts if I need them. And then, of course, I made this one here. Just uh, basically it just takes iron to make the firearm magazines for turrets. And because I was noticing that we're going to have some problems in the future, I thought it might be a good time for me to look at placing these. Now, I know when I place these, it places 10 of them in there. That isn't really enough, but I don't know how to use this mod because there's these controls here, which is autofill limits on off, uh, groups on off. Uh, you, you know what I mean? It's just like, eh. control shift F, control shift F. No longer using limits. Does this mean it just fills up completely? Oh no, I know what it's using now. So it's using a percentage of what you have. So it's using what you have per the amount of turrets I think you have, I think. Which, how many is that? That's not too bad actually, that that works. I think it's percentage wise though. I don't think it's gonna work out as well as I think it is. But uh, let's go ahead and start placing these anyway. So there's 36 used in that one. Here's another 36, another 36. So maybe it will work out mathematically wise. So that kind of actually works out really well in that sense. Uh, so this should protect us enough from our front line. The biters tend to go for the pollution spot. So this is a hot pollution spot. So when these guys attack, they'll probably end up going over here. Now they might go under here too, which will, of course, will deal there. But this will probably be one of the hottest spots, I would uh, assume. But they might come from below as well. So we want to be prepared for either way. Uh, and we're working on gun turret damage, which means uh, that they should be uh, a little more uh, scared of me. Well, it means these do a little more damage anyways. So you can see that it has a 10% bonus. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can go from here. Eventually, we'll have probably trains down here. I'm, uh, I'm thinking doing the trains down here, but that's a, a bit of a way to go yet. There you go, something like that. I really don't need to overlap these. I mean, this is just being a little more uh, wasteful, but whatever. We'll just keep going. Oops. This is like more like, well, you might as well secure as much as we can here at this point but uh these are like more like uh, i place these like sort of like deterrence you know if something does come this way they might help out they might not i don't know but it should be at least a semi deterrence to save our rear if something bad goes on there you go and then we'll just stick another one back there somewhere there you go but yeah, I'm sure this will be like the front line right here when something bad does happen, which of course we stack them quite a bit there. So 
Uh, I'm happy about that. You can put another one in there. There we go. So, uh, yeah. You can see all the little turrets now. I wonder if this shows the turret colors on here. No. I guess the turrets were always the blue ones. But anyways, you get the idea. That surrounds our base, protects it more, and uh, means less problems over time. It's nighttime again. I swear it's nighttime more than daytime. Um... Uh, so, uh, now that we have all that, we have to kind of look into the future, like what we need to do. Um, I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. We're going to probably start doing a lot more off camera, um, doing certain setups and things like that sometimes. You know, I'm, if I repeat something, of course, I'll do that off camera. But um, let's just say maybe I want to start learning how to make blues, right? Now, blues is going to be a while yet because I think blues are like oil and stuff and uh, not quite what we're up to yet, but let's just say when we start doing blues, that might be something I do a little more, uh, like get some of it started on camera, but some of it off camera after a while. Uh, these are probably actually a really good one to start working on. Um, we already know how it works, but we need to automate them. So, uh, basically we got to get these ones done and then we got to decide, uh, what to do from there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun and it's going to be a bit of a mess as well because it's, it's complex for me. It's complex for me anyways, maybe not for you guys, but I'm a bit special. So, um, it's going to be, you know, a little complex. So that's the tin, uh, cable tin plates. Okay. So we got that. We got that. Um, basic board, which is easy now. Well, not easy, but we have it solder. Ah, so you're going to have the, the solder, which requires resin. So that's, that's a wood supply. Um, and then from the, the resin, uh, oh, the solder plate. So we're going to go to the metals and then we need to get the solder plate. Uh, sorry. And, uh, the solder plate, which is tin plate and lead plate. And then we have everything. So, whoo, I need a nap now. Okay, so uh, we, we want to automate some of this, of course, and make my life easier. So let's figure out how we can do this. So first of all, I guess the easiest thing to start with is the solder plate is made uh, in the little blue machine, which we already have. Um, I guess we can do steel furnaces and stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, so tin and lead in the little blue guy here so we can bring those up i guess now this is already in the way you know this is supposed to be the main bus and instead of building this stuff way you know over here and starting over i kind of did it sooner and yeah, it's it's you know a bit of a dumb mistake on my part but whatever uh we can always redo parts of our base or whatnot uh so we're gonna bring these guys up anyways and we probably will never have as many of these anyways as these guys, so that's that's going to be my hope for right now. We'll go with that as a, a good make me feel better. <laughs> and then eventually these guys should join up somehow. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to do that because uh, I probably don't want to get everything in the way. I'm thinking I'll do it down here. Those boards go all the way over there. Yeah, 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 that'll be good. So let's go here. I don't know if I'll need these again later on, but there you go. Are we really running out of, well, I have a crap ton anyways made, but I'm just surprised I didn't have much now. Uh, where are my, you got these here. Should probably put these here. There you go. You there, you there, and... You're telling me I have no underground? Whoa, there they are. I was like, what? I was starting to go to like flip out mode of this. I was like, what the? F I was like, that's impossible because I swore I made so many of those. Okay. And oddly enough. Oh, now we got to pick those up. There you go. Okay, so we'll go way over here somewhere. And we ran out. Okay, so let's go up here. I like how I can go through the water pipes. I feel that's cheaping, 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 but Electro likes it a lot, and uh, why not? So let's go up here. If you, you know, modding is supposed to be fun, right? So what not? Um, we'll be playing vanilla when one, one, uh, you know, fifteen comes out or whatever, and that'll be uh, its own fun then. 
Okay, so there we go. Let's go with that. So we got this guy here, and uh, downside is it does require fuel, uh, as we know. So that's a sad reality with it because we don't have any fuel coming up, but we can always bring fuel up. And I might just use something like one of these lines for now. This is just me really overboarding the uh, being lazy, but hell, why not? Uh, so let's go, let's do an underground belt here. And I was going to put it up further, but it's going to get in the way if I expand that. So let's bring it down like, oh, this actually works out kind of cool. And then inserters. I don't know if I have any inserters, but it would just only make sense. We steal the good inserters right here. There we go. Advanced metal processing. Gates. I love gates. They're fun. Okay. So there you go, and uh, we're going to need you and you. We can shift-click this one to grab, holy crap, the pickup tile. Wait, you pick up that far now? Holy crap. So you can pick up from three, but really? Can it really pick up? Well, no, because I only have the one. I was thinking maybe I'll do that, but then I, I realized I only have the room anyways for two. In the front, but wow. So that's us using the new Bob's inserter hacks. It's not really hacks, but it's powerful where I get to give a name called hacks, because why not, right? There you go. So there you go. Now we have, a, you know, our soldering plates always in production, and uh, life goes on, right? So, uh, because you want to make this whatever to be expanded if needed to later on, we're going to go and place it here, place these on here. And you can see it makes a lot, so it's not like we started with a lot. Ooh, you know what we need to make? Um, I finally researched it, and I want it badly, and we need it badly. Uh, we have a device that lets us see how much ores we have, and I feel like it's a must-have item, and I almost forgot about it. I'm pretty sure I researched it, but I can't seem to find it, so. Maybe I didn't research it yet? Resource monitor. Huh, maybe I didn't research it yet then. No, I think I did. I think I didn't. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's actually buried still. Oh. Well, screw you, Gates. We're doing that because I want that badly for the episode. Gets really dark. I'm really going to have to work on that. Oh, well, once we get those circuit boards and stuff done, it'll be easier for that kind of stuff anyways. Um, okay, so we got these done, and that's the one process checked off, done on the list. Uh, the next one would be some sort of automation of the resin itself. Now, these are probably used for multiple things, which is, eh, I wonder if it's going to be used for multiple things? Probably. So having, I was thinking of doing something cheap, but it's probably a bad idea because it will probably hurt us in the long run. I was thinking of having another belt doing something, but eh, I kind of want to anyways, but I'm thinking it's a bad idea. So we'll do this instead. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to start making the resin now. So, um, I don't know how many of these we need or, I mean, maybe we only need one. I don't know, but, uh, okay. So what we'll do is we're going to bring, uh, actually, you know what? I, I'm doing this, but we could just eat off of this, this thing anyways. This is, this is supposed to always be full, right? It's supposed to bring... Uh, a steady stream non-stop like you shouldn't be empty of this anyway so that should be good enough there's the resin I think that's the resin that or it's like some kind of golden popcorn okay and then uh, we'll bring these down to this belt here there you go and there you go that is the resin, right? Yeah, I have it in my inventory, so I'm going to say yeah. It just looks like 
popcorn or something, you know? It looks too special to be the resin. Okay. And that will let us make the solder itself. Now, I don't know if we're going to be using some of this over time, so I'll just bring this down for now and then have this set up here and create the solder. Now, can I make solder in this? I might not be able to. That, that might be that other one. Oh, no, 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 I can. Oh, I was like, what? I can't make this? I keep looking at raw instead of the components, but there you go. So we have two of these. And uh, shift click for longer reach. There you go. This, this, this whole thing is crazy to me. Makes life easier though. I don't, I don't mind it in per se, the configuring of the ones I have. I, per, I would say I would almost not mind it seeing it in vanilla even, but I feel like if it was in vanilla, it'd be a little too cheap. So we'll stick with it being in this, but that's pretty cool in either way. And there you go, there it starts soldering cables. And that's that's one of the biggest pieces done. Now we need to do something with carbon. Carbon itself actually should be decently easy. Um, because uh, it's made with this. Oh, it's chemical though. Still easy, we're just going to have to bring some water in. So, uh, how we want to do this, my friends. I'm thinking what we can do is from here we can go whoop and... That's pretty much all she wrote. There you go. I feel like I should have done that one more because why not? There you go. And then... Yeah, that will work. Now, I don't have near inserters, I guess, yet. I don't know when that happens or if it happens. So what we can do here is uh, we can do anything, really. I just, I'm thinking I will share the belt, but maybe maybe sharing belts are still a bad idea. You know, I'm so in, used to, like, enjoying sharing belts. I feel like it's a dirty thing that I need to get out of as a habit. So let's actually, we got room over there? Yeah, we do. Let's bring this down, then. Yeah, let's bring it down here then. We'll do that. It's like I could spend all day trying to figure out, do I want it this way, that way? Do I want it left? Do I want it right? There we go. We can research this. Do I want it up? Do I want it down? You know, I get pretty bad at this. So we want carbon. So carbon requires water. Of course, it needs fuel for itself and then fuel to consume. So poof, pretty easy there. And then that'll make us a uh, carbon. And then we're going to have to bring it over somewhere. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I'm thinking where I want to bring it. I'm going to do that, actually. Just to really troll things around. Yeah, let's do that for fun. Okay. And then we can do the shift on this. Since we have the power to do things like this easier and... Deposit. There you go. <laughs> uh, this stuff will still drive me insane because how different it is to what I'm used to. Okay, so this is the carbon now. And with the carbon, uh, we can put... Oh, we got to make tin cable or tin copper cable, right? So we're going to have to figure that one out next. I need copper. Copper's too far. Probably going to stream it with this. Which one is which, though? Uh, I think tin is on the bottom, right? Yes, good. Okay, okay. Okay, that'll be good. Now, uh, let's bring copper over here, then. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Yeah, and then we'll bring tin further down the road here, and then uh, yeah, can this be done in here? Yeah, copper cable. Oh, copper cable. Okay, and then tin plate. Okay, so actually, this could be fun doing this way. 
Actually, what's the ratios on that? Maybe I should make this more efficient. Uh, tin copper wire. Okay, three copper wire. One tin plate makes that. And then copper wire normally is... Two copper wires. Of course, you would be a pain. Two. So we're doing a two to three ratio. So, hmm. Okay, uh, 0 0.5. What about the times? I didn't look at that. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. So three of those would be... Thinking three, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking three. I think my math might be wrong, but I'm thinking it should be three. I think it's like the circuit style. So three of these. So two, four, six. And then, yeah, I think that actually is the right style. So one, two, three. And then we just bring these over here. So this is just like the uh, good old days. And then we'll pull these here, or these here, these here, these here. And there you go. Boom, boom, boom. And then I think with this, it's just as simple as this here. I kind of sometimes like bringing, oh yeah. Actually, can these share, right? No, no, because they're uneven. So if you want to do it that way, it looks better. And then we do the same thing here, 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 and here. And then these ones will be the tinned. Yeah, okay. That'll work. And then we'll bring that over here. And then we need to get it to drag its tin. Oh, we got the resource monitor done. So now we got to find the resource monitor. Maybe under this? No. There it is. Okay. And uh, yeah, so now we just need to get the tin over here, which we might just have to string it along under here um, if we want to make life a little easier. So... Um, yeah, how do we want to do this? This, this, okay, yeah. and then tin will get further out, and we'll configure it to be one out further. And then, and by the way, you can do this, I found out, shift, and it'll copy the settings like that. Okay, so, then we just go like so. Boom, boom, boom. And then, oh, it's putting it on the one side. That's cute. There you go. And then, uh, oh, the thing is, that's a block, by the way. I'll fix it later if I need multiple things. But yeah, you'd probably go up and then underground belt. But if I want to continue on that, I've just blocked it off. So this is me overdoing my. Uh, Spam again, like always. And there you go. And there you go. Just in time. So that is my tin factory. So all the tin is done. And then all I have to do is create these guys and the other guys. And we'll probably leave that for the next episode. And then we'll continue from there. Um, I think we're doing so well for once that uh, we could just continue on another episode. So I got this little device. It's simple. You click what you want. So there is my stone. There is whatever the heck this stuff is. I think you can actually click it through. Yes. There's the thing. Now, it, it takes a while. So you notice how it's not showing the last one, but it shows it all of a sudden instantly. Um, that's not a bug. It's a feature. Basically, you have like 10 seconds or 30 seconds or something. So let's say there's coal here and a coal here and coal here. You might call it one patch, right? So it lets you go around being able to click it all in time. Uh, so you'll see in a second that coal will pop up here, but it gives you a nice buffer so you can wait on it. So if we click here, you can see our numbers. It's not always the best colors, but there you go. They're going to all start at 100 or 100%, 100 unfortunately, because it's when you do it, not when it originally was created. Now, I don't know what this one is. This is a new button for me. Oh, this is to add uh, one to it. That is awesome. Okay, so now we know what that is. Notice how it puts it in your hand right away? That's kind of cute. Um, this is to delete it. This is to actually view it, and you can actually view it like so. Uh, so if I went and did it at Electrospace, I could kind of have like a little cheater, a view on it. 
Um, you can also, when you view them, only when you view them, you can rename them. So you can call this uh, base, and it should be, there you go. So you know it's Tenor, but it's at the base. And you can pop and just do it for all of them. So we'll go ahead and do base. Drop the base. Oh, something doesn't seem right. I think I deleted one of them. I think I clicked X. Oh, yeah. I was probably clicked the X. Did I click X twice or did it bug? I don't know. I'm clicking them now on purpose, of course, but I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> okay, well, at least I can do them in proper order. Well, not proper order, but the order I wanted to. Uh, I want to do iron first, then copper, then coal. And then we'll get the other ones. That's just sort of what I wanted to do anyway. So let's get that one. Uh, I don't know. Tin sounds better to me first. Tin. And then Galena or whatever. And there you go. So we'll leave it there. And we will continue next time uh, where we will finish up our setup and get the more uh, advanced circuits. What are they even called? I, I, I'm, they're not really that advanced. It's like... Basic electronic boards. These are basic circuit board. Okay. So the electronic boards. So we'll get those up and running uh, next time. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.